Hi guys, my name is Manuel Tall, and today's the very first episode of the weekly Tech Roundup series, so let's get straight into it. Now, first on the list is Apple's plan on releasing the iPod Touch again, and not just a standalone iPod Touch, they're planning on implementing a screen on the AirPods and combining the two devices together. Now, this is a very interesting choice by Apple, considering that Apple has discontinued the iPod Touch way back in September of 2019, but I'm not surprised considering that Apple has a pretty large market share of portable earbuds and headphones. Now combining the two together really gives them a step up with their competition. And with the existing technology with the Apple Watch and their haptic feedback touchscreens, I could see them quite easily implementing them into the AirPods without any hesitation. Now leaks came out last week and Apple had actually filed a patent back in 2021 about having this design put together with the AirPods. Now, whether or not this is going to be a success, it's up to Apple's marketing team, but I could see a pretty good use case as a lot of people are moving away from using their devices all the time. Now, another interesting thing about this is that Apple has really focused on pushing music, videos, and streaming all into a single device with their iPhones. Now, will the AirPods case with the touchscreen and iPod together cannibalize any of their sales? It's really up to how Apple markets this. I can see it being a big plus. The way I see Apple releasing this product, it'll be the highest version of the AirPods Pro when they're released. So the sole focus isn't gonna be actually on the iPod Touch. It'll just be an added feature that most people will jump on just to see if it's actually useful or if it's just gonna be a novelty feature. But once again, Apple is a genius when it comes to marketing and I can see them doing a very good job pushing this product and actually selling a lot of these units. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post weekly videos on tech and product reviews. So hit that notification bell to stay in touch with all the new content. Now more on Apple's front, there was a rumor that the new iOS 17 would discontinue the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 plus support. However, a reputable leaker has confirmed that this will not be the case. So if you do have an iPhone 8, 8 plus with iPhone 10, iOS 17 and its security updates will continue to work with your phone. But once again, this is all rumored, nothing is concrete, but I could imagine that the iPhone 10 is still such a popular device as well as the iPhone 8, having similar specs to the iPhone SE that Apple would continue to support these products. Now shifting focus to the handheld gaming side of the world and this week and the last couple of weeks have been pretty crazy with a lot of rumors from Nintendo. The Switch 2 with the specs had been leaked and I just actually made a video on the Nintendo OLED review, you know, speculating whether you should buy this console or wait for the Switch 2. And just like clockwork, those rumors dropped. So a lot of rumors stating that the new chipset is going to have equivalent power to the PS4. So Nvidia style Tegra processing. I don't really think that Nintendo is actually going to go with the Switch 2. Nintendo's really never made a version 2 of any product that they've ever sold. Nintendo's sole focus isn't really on specs, it's more so on marketing and making sure that gamers get the best experience, especially from a handheld standpoint. The another thing that Nintendo's really good at is cost reduction and always utilizing the best software and hardware to maximize their profits. So that means they're not gonna get cutting edge technology. Actually, I don't even imagine Nintendo will do that even with their next console, whether it's a Switch or a physical gaming console. Now. Is a Switch 2 gonna be released? Like I said, this is just rumors. Some people had speculated that this would be in 2023, some saying in early 2024, but with Nintendo just announcing the Zelda remake of the Switch OLED version and the new Zelda game coming out, I don't see them cannibalizing their own sales this quick. I'd imagine that if there is a console coming, it'd be next year or very late into the holiday season, but I don't think it'll be any version of the Switch. I think it'll be just a completely new console, just the way Nintendo's historically announced their consoles and release their handheld devices. Now, if you are interested in purchasing the Nintendo Switch, whether it be the Lite or the OLED, I actually have video reviews and pretty in-depth gameplay of both consoles. So check those videos out if you are on the fence of whether you wanna switch over to Nintendo or if you wanna upgrade from one console to the other. Videos will be linked in the description. Now more on the handheld gaming side of the world, Asus actually announced a new handheld console, but they released it on the worst possible day on April 1st. As a matter of fact, a lot of people thought it was an April Fool's joke, but it was confirmed with a Best Buy pre-order link, and that is the Asus ROG Ally. Now, this is a direct competitor to the Steam Deck with a little difference. This one will be running a Windows 11-based operating system where the Steam Deck currently runs a Linux-based custom OS for their handhelds. Now, the biggest rumor is that the spec upgrade 
They're rumoring an AMD style chipset that may draw up to 28 watts of power or the Steam Deck currently only draws up to 15. But this is always a fine line when hardware is released. Now, if the more wattage your CPU takes, the better performance you get, but it also takes away from the battery life. So we'll see if they'll actually allow for the full 28 watts or if they'll play the middle ground around 20 and probably even lower to 15. We'll see. Other than that, really nothing new in terms of gameplay. It's still in its preview and a pre-order side of the world. But if I get my hands on that, you best believe that that unit will be reviewed alongside the Steam Deck. Now, that's all for this week's roundup. This is going to be a weekly series. So like I said, if you guys are interested in this type of content or my regular content where I review products and do unboxings, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to stay in touch with all the new content. But until next time, peace. Thank you.